my YouTube family, how are you? In today's tutorial, you're going to learn how to paint this gorgeous monarch butterfly inspired dot mandala design on stone. You will also learn how to add a coat of resin for extra protection and see how to apply beautiful Swarovski crystals as well for that added bling and sparkle. Here are the paints we'll use as well as a shot of the tools you will need. I have pre-resined the stone here, but you do not have to or need to do this step at all. As a matter of fact, you can skip it all together. It's just whatever you have available. All right, grab your paints and tools. And let's get started. So starting off with your center dot, you're going to use um, DecoArt Extreme Sheen Metallic Paint, and this color is called Obsidian. It's beautiful, shimmery paint. The next paint um, is going to be the DecoArt Americana Paint called Scarlet. And on this one, you're just going to use your size four nail stylus and go ahead and place down a total of 12 dots around that center dot. So you do a crisscross from top to bottom and then left to right. And then you stick two in between each of those. And that'll give you 12. The next color is going to be Orange Flame. And that is another Americana paint. And we're going to put a dot right in between each of the uh, dots before. So right on the outer edge there. And you're going to do that all the way around. Now these paints, I uh, do mix between gloss and matte paints, but it's not going to matter in the final outcome um, because I do resin the whole stone. And then if you want, now you can skip this step if you want, but if you are so inclined, you can go ahead and put some very small dots in between those dots if you have enough room. I'm just using my size one nail stylus. It's the very smallest one that I have. And you could put one dot or two dots or three dots, whatever suits you. And now I am even gonna push it a little bit further and try to get some teeny tiny dots in between the scarlet row. Now you can skip this if you want. That's just a personal preference. Okay, so grab your purple tool. And this paint is called Pumpkin Patch and it is a DecoArt Americana multi-surface satin paint. And you're just gonna be putting a dot just like we did before with the previous row. Just go ahead and start with the top and then work your way all the way around. And I know there's like no extra room in between here, so I'm just sticking them as close together as I can and hopefully without them touching. But if they touch, it's okay. <laughs> and then I just use the edge of my, uh, my tool to kind of push the paint around. And then to clean your tools, you just kind of rotate it and just spin it around in a really lightly dampened cloth. Um, you don't want anything too wet and you don't want any heavy scrubbing because they are just wooden dowels. Um, the next paint is called Bright Orange and it's Americana Gloss Enamel Paint by DecoArt. And this time we're just going to be putting six dots around the total. So it's a big jump in size and you're just going to go with every other dot. So there will be a total of six. And again, just use the edge of your tool and just kind of push the paint around. And if that doesn't satisfy you, no problem. Just re-dip your tool in the paint and re-dot the same dot. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you who have made a purchase of my art or in my tools and stencil shop or a donation to my PayPal and to you who watch my tutorials and subscribe to my channel. It is you who I make these for and it is you who makes this channel possible. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love and appreciate you so much. Okay, sorry for the mushy mushy. Um, now back to the tutorial. This is a size two nail stylus and I just put one main dot down and like the divot between the two um, outer dots and then dot up twice and then go back, redot the first initial dot and then dot up to the other side. And then go ahead and grab your purple tool again. And this time we're gonna go with the orange flame paint and just put a dot right in between each of those large dots. And then the next paint is the pumpkin patch paint with the blue tool. And we're just gonna put a dot 
right on the center outer edge of the largest dots all the way around. So just six of those. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the black tool, put a dot right next to on both on either side there of each of those last dots. And then after that, you're going to grab your largest nail stylus dotting tool. And it's a size five. And go ahead and just dot all the way down to the base on one side. Redip your stylus and paint and then dot all the way down the other side. All right, and this next part is totally optional. You can leave the little bubble of paint in the middle of those large dots. That's not going to hurt anything. It will dry um, and it will flatten out a little bit. It might be a little bit raised, but it's totally okay. If you don't like that bit, you can swirl it out. I just did it because of drying time for the tutorial's sake. Um, so I just swirled it out a little bit, but that's personal preference. You can do it however you want. Next, I have grabbed um, the size one nail stylus dotting tool. Now that's my very smallest one. And I'm going back with the scarlet color. And I really just want to accent, you know, just make a small little uh, pop of color there. So I'm doing um, just about, I don't know, six or seven dots up. Um, up inside the little bridge up to either side of the little petal there and then we're going to do the same process with the uh, bright orange paint which is the glossy enamel paint and that's a size two so just slightly larger and it's just basically the same thing there so we're just making some like small little antennae looking uh, half bridges going up and about and if you mess up that was the, like one of the coolest things about pre-resining a stone is it wipes so clean so easily so if you have a little oops you just clean it right up no problem at all all right going back with the size one nail style so i'm just going to make a little half swipe going down from the side of the largest outer dot there and just going down to where the uh, little scarlet dots end Okay, grab your black tool, which is the very smallest tool in my 16-piece dotting tool set, and go ahead and put a dot right above those little bridges there. And then we're going to do another swipe down using the size 2 nail stylus. Now, these are the bright orange color. How a monarch butterfly has the little white dots on the edges of their wings, so I wanted to represent that with some white dots. Um, this paint is called Vanilla Shake. You do want to shake your paints, by the way. Um, and this is a multi surface satin paint by DecoArt. And you're just going to put a dot um, with your black tool all the way down in between the little bridges there that we made. And then you're going to grab your size 2 nail stylus. And here, I know I want to walk the dots all the way down, so I know I need more than just a straight go at it. So I'm going to dip my tool, dot, dip it again, dot, dip it again, and then dot, and then continue to dot, 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 all the way up these little bridges here. So, so you want the three to be the same size, basically. So the three first dots uh, re-dip each one and then go ahead and dot it all the way up. So I want to know what inspires you? Where do you gather your inspiration from? I definitely tend to get my inspiration, I would say the majority of it is from just things found in nature, you know, animals and plants and sunsets and stuff like that. So leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know what inspires you the most. All right, go ahead and grab your size one nail stylus and just right above what we had just laid down there with the white dots you're just going to go ahead and dot out a little bit further so i didn't want it hugging right against the previous row and i also don't want them real tight together so i just kind of left them spaced out a little bit and i did like seven up each side and then going back with the white tool it's time to top dot um, wherever you can. So this row was dry for me, so I went on and top dotted the row of orange flame paint with the bright orange paint. 
with the white tool. And then um, I am going to be top dotting the larger dots with the pumpkin patch paint. Now this is very hard to see right here. You can't really notice the difference I noticed um, after recording. And uh, you do notice it once it's dry. It's just there is a subtle difference between the two orange colors and it was just a nice difference. So I went with that. Um, and then I'm using a round brush here. I do show you how you can do the same effect with uh, a dotting tool and a nail stylus. So um, if you want to use your tool and your stylus, this would work just as well. Just put a dot down with your black uh, obsidian metallic paint, and that's the extreme sheen. And then you just put like a dot and then swipe it out to either side, and that works perfectly fine. However, I'm going to use a brush for mine, and so it's just a round brush and you want to get it good and coated in paint and then you push it down and then you as you pull out you slightly lift up as well so i want to show you that on something that you can see it better on on the stone it's a little darker the stone is so it's kind of hard to see the black paint but i i had some other color stones and i thought well it was a little harder to see the orange paints and i really wanted the orange paint to pop off of the stone so I went with a darker stone and sacrificed the, the black effect, but it's still pretty and, and you can still see it. But anyway, so you push your brush down and then lift up as you swipe out. So slightly lift and lift it away. Okay, so just practice that on the side. And it is a lot easier on stone, but do practice it on the side if you can on some cardboard or some, you know, some scrap uh, paper or whatever you've got lying around. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a little, you know, swipe out um, above the white dots. And that is how I will edge it out. And the stone itself, the resin that I pre-resined it with, had some uh, sparkles, some glitter sparkles. And if you didn't catch that tutorial, then check out my last tutorial where I use um, some beautiful glitter in my resin. All right, and then I just use my gloves and just kind of smear them on. Um, and then you do want to hit it up with a little bit of flame and just pop all the bubbles and you're good to go. And then let it cure overnight. And now it is good and cured and nice and hard and ready to add the gemstones. So I changed the lighting and tried to get some of the shine off so you can still see the design as I go here. Um, now these are Swarovski crystals and I bought them at Hobby Lobby and I got three different colors. All right, I also picked up a tool called a jewel picker um, and then I also picked up two different glues. One is called Jewel It and when I brought it home I seen that the, the end of the nozzle was a little larger and I had also picked up this cement stuff and it says for fine detail work and I was like, well, I am glad I picked this up. It's got a very, very small little teeny tiny needle tip. This is what I use in today's tutorial. And I'm just going to put some glue on all the larger white dots there. And I'm going to use a little orange. Um, it's called tangerine uh, crystal there. And then in the center, I'm going to put a crystal called crystal golden shadow. And then in each in the center of each of the large orange dots I'm going to use uh, crystal silver night and then I use those same uh, crystal silver night jewels down in the the black swipes as well now mind you I have never used any kind of crystal in any of my designs before and I have to say that I was not disappointed. I do think they're beautiful. It turned out very, very beautifully. And I think I will try to incorporate more of those uh, in the future. So let me know if you would like to see more with the jewels or if it's too much bling for you. Stay tuned for a 40,000 subscriber giveaway coming up very shortly. And hey, if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, of course, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon to get all of my uploads right when they happen. 
See you next time.